which of your character's lines has really stuck with you over the years? Well, definitely Elle Woods. What, like it's hard? People ask me to do the bend and snap a lot, more than you would think. Walk the line, baby, 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 baby. And then I slam the door in his face. It's one of my favorite lines ever. What was your standout memory from facing off against Meryl Streep in Big Little Lies? Okay, well first of all, when you do a scene with Meryl Streep, half the time you're just saying in your head like, oh my God, I can't believe that's Meryl Streep. I'm talking to Meryl Streep. My mouth is moving and words are coming out and they're being said to Meryl Streep. After I kind of let that sink in, then I could play the character, but I want to say maybe half of my work isn't usable <laughs> because I was so starstruck. <laughs> Okay, which of Alex or Bradley's on-camera meltdowns was your favorite? <laughs> There's so many great meltdowns. Probably episode four, when Bradley says on air um, something deeply personal that happened to her when she was 15 years old. It was so hard to figure out how to play it, but it was so genuine, the shock that Bradley has. Because um, I've been on air and said really dumb things like on talk shows or Good Morning America, and I wanted to um, fall over and take a nap afterwards. And I usually did. Okay. What would you like to post on Jennifer Aniston's Instagram? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe just cute pictures of her and I from the set, or like when we joke around and um, she's, very, she's just really funny. Fashion, I love her style. She also, oh, just really pretty house. So maybe you get to see parts of her house and how she designed it, that would be really cool. What is something everyone can do for the environment? This is an excellent question. I think because we all need to help the environment. Um, my kids tell me not to use a lot of plastic, so I just stop buying plastic bottles. Oh, another thing that's really good is now you can get a lot of um, dish soap and stuff, and you just use a reusable container, and they have these little capsules, and I don't know what the company's called, but um, they're really great. What's the first thing that Hollywood should do to create opportunities for women? How much tape do you have? How many digital cards do you have? A good place to begin is really mentoring young women, all kinds of young women from different backgrounds. And I think it's really important that people who do not see a, an open door, that you really take them with you to different events. I think that would be an incredible thing if we started bringing plus ones to big events um, so that people get the networking experience. I also think it'd be really great if we had more female screenwriters from all kinds of different backgrounds, different parts of the country, different parts of the world, different socioeconomic um, environments. And I think that would really expand storytelling and we'd see a bigger spectrum of female behavior on film. I'm gonna end it there because I don't know how to stop when people get me started on this topic. Okay. Female leadership, women in executive positions, women on the boards of your companies. Okay, moving on. Fill in the blank. Legally Blonde 3 will be so much fun, so full of fashion, so full of awesome feminist ideas. It will be global, it will have animals, it will have returning cast members. We just need to um, film it first. But that's my hope and dream for Legally Blonde 3. It will be the return of Jennifer Coolidge, which is the greatest. All right, well thank you everybody. This is Fishing for Answers with Reese. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look at me, litter bug. Look at me cleaning it all up. <laughs>